Okay, this is James P. Madonna. Um, this is pretty much how I make my antioxidant rich herbal tea. Uh, it lasts me two days. Okay, I use a, um, a Presto, a stainless steel Presto 12 cup electric percolator pot. Okay, as you can see by Presto, great company. They also, it's also the same company that makes my uh, pressure cookers. I got two of them, uh, six quart pressure cookers. Okay, to save time, I fill it up with filtered water from the Brita filter. It's supposed to be 12 cups, but I go a little higher than the hole, than the spout hole, which is right here. Then I put the, this piece of hardware in that holds the basket that allows the water to percolate upward. And I put um, one overflowing capful of pure lemon juice, because lemon juice, um, the uh, citric acid <coughs> and properties of lemon juice enhance the uh, antioxidants in tea, the uh, epigallocatechin gallates of tea. It enhances it, it makes it more effective. So I put the overflowing capful of pure lemon juice. Here I have three bags of organic uh, Japanese uh, green tea. I put two bags of stinging nettles tea. This is a uh, um, low priced stinging nettles from Croatia, Europe, that I, I buy in, a, in an international market called National Wholesale Liquidators. I think it cost me like less than $1.99 for 20 bags. I put two bags of organic Alveda chamomile tea in there. And I put two bags of imported uh, peppermint tea. I usually go by what smells the nicest, you know. So you can use whatever, whatever company uh, is on sale. Um, so. I, oh, um, also, sometimes, if I have it, it's not, it's not, it hasn't been easy to find, but I put a, a heaping teaspoon of cloves, of whole cloves in the basket, and sometimes I use um, uh, loose tea from China. And let me show you what I'm using, what I've been using. Okay, this one is uh, Temple from Heaven special gunpowder it's called let me get the front temple of heaven china green tea special gunpowder uh, two teaspoons will make an entire 12 cup percolator pot of very dark green tea it, it, it looks like little rolled up dried nuggets you know they're rolled the leaves are rolled into nuggets so it really expands but I usually get this in an Asian market, uh, so I switch off from time to time. So what I'm going to do is get ready to plug it in. Uh, all right, and uh, I'm going to try to uh, do this with one hand as I'm holding the camera. Now, of course, since I'm trying to do this one-handed, it's going to take forever for me to find the hole. And I might get pissed off. But, you know, I'm in a rush. Oh, I think I got it. All right, cap it. The cover on. And plug it in. And after it finished percolating, the light will go on where it says presto. That means it's done, but I won't drink it yet. I'll let it steep for a good hour. I want it to get as dark as coffee. And, um, and then after I drink it, I won't drink it till late hours at night, but you know, maybe I'll have my last cup at 9 p.m., give or take. I'll shut it off, I'll unplug it, and I will, I will repercolate it the day after. And as leftover tea, it's really dark and potent. So let me plug it in. 
Pogiri, Pogiri. Okay. And then soon I will hear the, the sounds of percolation. So, without boring you, this is it. This is how, this is the best way I make my tea. Now, when I make my tea for the stainless steel thermos, without glass inside that I you see me drinking during uh, my weekly internet talk show uncensored hard-hitting truth I do it the same way I make it in the presto 12 cup percolator pot and then I simply fill up the thermos so that's how I do it uh, you could use different teas if you want um, I like this tea from Poland which is uh, made from aronia berries also known as choke berries extremely medicinal and high in antioxidants very high I believe I read it it actually beats out um, acai berry from Brazil that's how great it is it's uh, superior to black currants and bilberry for the eyes so but I only get it from um, an international market that has these uh, these berry teas from Poland because there is no cheap filler in European teas and when I say cheap filler I mean uh, rose hips and hibiscus are often used by American companies as a cheap filler to give you less of the active ingredient and rip you off of course what else is new with American companies and there you have it you hear the noise of percolation. Well, I heard one. What happened? Anyway. It takes a bit to percolate more than 12 cups. But I, I have plenty of time. <laughs>